Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about something really important when it comes to iPhones and that of course is battery life. Now battery life and battery health are really important. They do play a huge role on the performance of your iPhone because once your iPhone's battery health drops, under 80% it means that it won't be performing as it should. Now what's really interesting is that if you go to your settings on your iOS device and you go to the battery here and you go to battery health you will see the maximum capacity right there but that's never true. It will never tell you the true capacity of the battery of your iPhone. In this case you can see here I have my iPhone 15 Pro Max at 100% battery health. Now according to Apple the battery health of an iPhone should drop at 80% after 500 complete charges. Now my iPhone has currently 85 complete charges. So as you can see right here, if I go to my settings app under the about section, I have the battery settings right here and it shows that it has 85 complete charges, which means that by now the battery health of my iPhone should at least have dropped around 98 or maybe 97%, somewhere around that. But my iPhone's battery health is currently 102% and that's actually really true. Now I will show you guys how to check the battery health of your iPhone so you know the exact battery health. You might have over 100% battery health. I know that sounds crazy but it's actually very very true and I will show you guys two different apps which will show you that one on the iPhone here and one on the Mac and both say that the battery health of my iPhone is actually at 102%. So here I have an app which is actually free to download from the App Store and it's very simple to use in order to get the full real details regarding the battery health of your iPhone. Now what I can do here is simply head on to the settings app of course after I have installed this app on my device. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video for you to install it. So once you have done that you go to your settings, go under privacy and security, scroll all the way down here to analytics and improvements and then go to analyt analytics data and then scroll down here until you see the last one here that says analytics. Now in my experience if I just save the last one sometimes it didn't show the info correctly so I just save the previous one right here like this one tap the share button right there and tap save to files and save it on your files app. Once you have done that what you need to do now is go back into the app tap the import button it will take to your files app and just go ahead and load the file you just saved like this one right here. And you can see right here it says that the battery health of my iPhone is actually 102%. Now how is that possible? Well you can see right here the current capacity of the device is 4510 milliamp hours. Now the design capacity of the iPhone 15 Pro Max is actually 4,400 Four, like 4,440 4, I believe that's the designed one but the iPhone's battery in this case my iPhone's battery has way more capacity than that. It has 4,500 after 85 charging cycles which means that it probably has somewhere around 4,800 milliamp hours of capacity when it was new and you can see this from the Mac app as well. So you can see here on the Mac app it says that the full charge capacity of the device currently is 4560 while the design capacity was actually 4422. Now you can get that app on your Mac as well. All you have to do is just install the app, plug in your device and just switch there where it says iOS device and you will be able to show all the different details regarding the battery health of your iPhone. So as you can see right here, no batteries of course the same. Some batteries will have way more capacity, more than the designed one. That's why your device will actually stay at 100% battery health for a really really long time and it will start dropping only when it drops under the design capacity that Apple has set for that iPhone. So in this case here I have still 102% so way to go there of course after like 
four months now since using this iPhone, three months or so, it's still over 100% and that's great news. So yours might be as well. So if you have a new device, it doesn't matter whether you have an iPhone 15 or an iPhone 14, as long as it is a new device, go ahead and do this check and see what's the real battery health of your iPhone. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Of course, subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.